Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture. Here I am deriving the relationship between alpha and beta of BJTs. As we know, the emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current. So the relationship between IC and IE with respect to alpha, if we define, alpha DC will be equal to IC by IE. Similarly, the relationship between the collector current and the base current, that is beta, is equal to IC divided by IB. By using these expressions, we can derive the relationship between the alpha and beta. So first let us take the expression of current IE is equal to IC plus IB. So divide this expression by IC. Divide the left hand side expression and the right side expression by IC. So it becomes IE divided by IC is equal to IC divided by IC plus IB divided by IC. So here IC, IC get cancelled and the remaining thing is IE divided by IC is equal to IB divided by IC. So here we know that alpha is equal to IC by IE. But here in the expression we will be having IE divided by IC. So this becomes 1 by alpha and beta is IC divided by IB. Here we have IB divided by IC. It becomes 1 by beta. So if we put these expressions in terms of alpha and beta here, it becomes 1 by alpha is equal to 1 plus 1 by beta. So if we write the expression for alpha, if we solve this expression, it becomes alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta. So this alpha value is lies between 0 to 1. So similarly, if we write the expression for 1 by beta here, by taking this 1 to the left side, this becomes 1 by beta is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1. So solve for beta here, it becomes alpha divided by 1 minus alpha. And the value of beta is always greater than 1. So by looking at this ideal value itself, we can say if this beta is greater than 1 and always the denominator is more than 1 since it is 1 plus beta, so alpha will be less, alpha is always less than 1 or we can say 0 to 1. And similarly, beta value if we say alpha is always less than 1 and the denominator will be having 1 minus that value. So beta is always greater than 1. Thank you.